Buckeyes are hot. The women's ice hockey Buckeyes, that is. They're 4-0 to start the young season, and they're looking at a number eight ranking in the country. Now, they're feeling like one of the best, but to be the best, as you know, you've got to beat the best. What's shaking, Buckeye Nation? I'm Blake Baker with OhioStateBuckeyes.com, previewing this weekend's series when the women host number one, Wisconsin. Defending national champion Wisconsin, might I add, the Badgers return all but six members of that title-winning team, which means there's still plenty of current Badgers who know how tough and how evenly matched their series with the Buckeyes have been. In the past couple of years, we've actually had uh, really good results against Wisconsin. And there's no love lost between uh, us and Wisconsin, two Big Ten schools that have a lot of resources, have a lot of power to make their athletes elite. Even though the Buckeyes welcome perhaps the most elite team in the country, don't expect for one second that they back down or change their approach. We always bring, bring it when we play them, and speed and tenacity, I think that's how we always get the Badgers. I think we just need to bring what we're best at and own what we are and kind of be the underdog. Be aggressive, that's our main goal for the, these coming games. They're not used to playing against aggressive teams, I don't think, this year especially, so we're going to surprise them. We need to expect their best game, and we're going to play our best game. We're going to come at them and we're going to be offensive. We're not going to play defensive. We're not going to sit back on our heels. We're not going to give them time and space. We're going to go after them. A lot of interesting matchups to look for as we get into this weekend. In terms of special teams, Ohio State has yet to allow a power play goal, while Wisconsin is scoring on a phenomenal 50% of its power play opportunities. And even more special has been the goalkeeping for each side. The Badgers get Kristen Campbell back, the reigning WCHA Goalie of the Year, and honestly, her stats last year were nuts. 11 shutouts, including three in the NCAA tournament, and she only allowed one goal per game on average. However, the Buckeyes scored eight goals on her last season, and she only beat the Buckeyes two out of five times. Ohio State is optimistic that trend can continue. Last year, we were the team that scored the most goals against Wisconsin, so we know we can put them by her. We just gotta have the confidence and, and believe that we can. And between the pipes for the Bucks is Andrea Brandley, who's off to a great start to her sophomore year. And historically, she's played some of her best hockey against the Badgers. She rises up to that challenge. She likes to compete against those games and just let her see the puck and she'll stop it. If the recent results of this matchup tell us anything at all, it's that we got a fun brand of hockey coming our way. It's a brand of hockey that fans should feel excited for. Uh, I think we have a lot of goals coming, hopefully. So we played really good against St. Cloud. We had uh, lots of goals in those two games. So I think we're ready to score. We want to bring that same energy every week, but obviously because it's Wisconsin, it's so different. I think this series is going to be super entertaining, um, really fast, and just a, a battle. It's going to be back and forth, and I think that's going to be a great game to watch. Really physical hockey, very fast hockey. You're going to see some crafty offense. You're going to see some smart and disciplined, strong defense. And we're going to come out aggressive, and um, we're going to put on a good show for our fans. Along with the fun hockey, here's what we got on tap for you this weekend. Friday is Facebook Friday, so stay engaged with all of our social media channels and use the hashtag GoBucks to find out how you can be eligible for a prize come Friday. And that night you'll also be able to hear the best darn band in the land right here in the OSU Ice Rink. And then on Saturday, wear your pink here. Buckeye Nation, we'd love to see you in scarlet and gray, but for our pink game, we need you to participate as well. You can get popcorn for a dollar on Saturday and also have time for your very own ice time after the game with our post-game skate. For any and all news on all things Buckeyes, go over to OhioStateBuckeyes.com. Check us out on Twitter at OhioSTAthletics. Buckeyes, Badgers, fire matchup coming right here to the OSU Ice Rink. You're not going to want to miss it. Go Bucks!